Hi there! Welcome to everybody. And always uh, we have a minute, but uh, I'm uh, here. And uh, welcome. Federica Fracassi is here with you. Hi! Hi there! Someone is there. Some of our friends. Arte delle streghe. Ciao! <laughs> We are uh, waiting for our super, super star today, uh, Lucrezia Guidone. And um, I'll try to... Uh, I'm fine, thank you. I'll try to, to interview Lucrezia in English. Can you believe that? Uh, hi, Lucrezia. Lucrezia is there. Now she, uh, I think that she's going to ask me to follow the diretta with me. And uh, I can... Uh, i can welcome her okay here she is and try to do that okay she is coming and um, hello to everybody oh my love ciao <laughs> ciao <laughs> beautiful as usual as eh. are our lucrezia <laughs> hi hi i was saying that i'm trying uh, today to speak in english and okay Lucre maybe lucrezia is going to help me if i do some uh, big mistakes uh, and uh, i know but we, we try we try we, we try have, we have always surprises uh, on check the gate because sometimes <laughs> we talk in italian and then we read on english today we talk in english and we read in italian in italian <laughs> how are okay. you fine fine and how are you I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm trying to adapt to this new normality. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. And you are in Pescara, right? Pescara, yeah. Okay. I'm spending my time with my family. Okay. And so I start with the first question, which, which is uh, Pescara, Pescara, Roma, Roma, or New York, New York? <laughs> <laughs> um, well... I don't know. I think I have a mix of these three cities uh, in my heart because uh, each one of, of them means something important for me. So uh, maybe Rome, it became my, my base. So um, it's kind of my home now. But I have my family here in Pescara. So yeah, I, I cannot choose. Uh, okay yes <laughs> it's it's the choice of course of course and you i, I because uh, uh our audience do, uh, doesn't know that uh, you spent in new york a lot of time studying and learning yeah. and if you want to 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 talk to us uh, to something about uh, that experience for you uh, for me it was uh, an amazing experience because i moved there when i was 24 And I lived there for about uh, maybe three years, uh, attending the Lee Strasberg Theatre and Film Institute. And at the same time, I was studying with Susan Batson, which is another coach. Uh, and another one that was Jordan Bain. So basically, I filled up my time with all these classes and new experiences. And of course, I improved my, my English and acting in another language. To me, it was something that taught me a lot. So, yeah. and also the energy that I that I got to experience from New York, uh, it settled me uh, on on something I don't know, huge, big, um, a really uh, weird ener energy for me, um, made of dreams and hopes. Uh, about my future, I was mm, just graduated from the Silvio D'Amico, the academy mm -hmm. that I attended in Rome. So I was full of, you know, hope and and fears, of course. Yeah, of course, yes. <laughs> so, yeah, I connect New York to, uh, I don't know, a new period of my life that kind of pushed me to... I don't know, to, to dream big. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. 
I, I, th I always thought that uh, you, you have been uh, really brave in a sense because sometimes students, uh, I mean, now we are forced to be in a place uh, <laughs> and maybe we dream to go abroad and to, and to, and to travel and to, and to be curious of something uh, else. But uh, of course, when we were free to do <laughs> everything, so some of us were a little bit lazier than you. And uh, I, I think, I mean, you, you, you maybe some, some people uh, are born in Rome and like to be there and stay there and uh, learn their language, of course. But uh, you have always uh, been uh, around the world uh, in your mind, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also because I, I'm, you know, when I decided to move there, uh, as I said, I had just graduated from my academy in Rome. So um, I remember that all my friends were kind of starting, you know, new collaborations and uh, projects and shows, movies, and I, and I didn't have a job. So I felt kind of lost. And um, during that time, I felt like I needed to do something um, for myself to get out of this of this of this fear you know this this fear of the future and so yeah I, I decided to go there and it was kind of brave for me but of course it wasn't brave I mean yeah. I went to New York <laughs> come on <laughs> yeah well any, anyway anyway you you brought something for us uh, for your colleagues too because uh, I had the, the I was lucky and I worked with uh, Lucrezia recently on uh, Luna Nera as yes. well for Netflix and I I'm seeing that there are uh, some of our uh, lovers uh, out there <laughs> following <Hi>. <laughs> <laughs> And so I would like to, to talk about uh, women, that is about your characters. Uh, you, you had a great character, uh, Leptis, and uh, I would like to know, and it was uh, really loved, this character, this woman. And I would like to know uh, how much uh, there is of Lucrezia in Leptis or something you found really uh really great for you in that character or also in other characters that you played uh, in movies uh, i start from movies and then we go to theater in the end yeah um to me leptis it was a, a gift because this character uh maybe for the first time since i'm you know working in this field i met a character that actually taught me something and pushed me through my my limits, you know, my comfort zone. Even if you think about the training that we had to do before yeah. shooting. And I was, of course, scared, you know, horses and we didn't have much time and learning how to fight and, and do this and that, all physical stuff. And I and I had to push myself. And, and that, um, yeah, I think it helped me to, to understand that you have to risk something. And this character, this Leptis, uh, she does that. And she, she's someone who protects the people that she loves. And, and she does it in a very active way. You know, it's not something that she thinks about how much I love them and I have to protect them. But no, she actually yeah, in a practical way, goes yeah. there and she fights and she kills. And so, yeah, that, that is something that just the fact of, just having the opportunity of playing that kind of person it kind of made me feel like yeah I can do this maybe you know yeah. <laughs> of course, not killing people not killing people of course, but, <laughs> but yeah uh, doing something um, brave again and yeah I really liked it yes. and of course working with so many great actresses it was an amazing experience for me uh, yeah, and uh, I saw that uh, because when, when I I worked and uh, saw the the scenes, maybe I was in the corner waiting for uh, for my time. It it was uh, great because Lucrezia is like that. She can be uh, really serious and she can be ice, but inside she's fire and she's really funny. <laughs> 
this woman is really so funny. Sometimes she <laughs> behaves like a, a teenager. <laughs> So let this add all these things uh, and uh, really uh, I, I, I can imagine that you can be an uh, actress in uh, uh, dramatic stuff uh, and uh, you can... Yeah, that's my so dream. Fun. That's my dream that, I, that <laughs> yes. I can do comedy as well because actually I'm a, uh, you know, as you said, like a teenager sometimes. So, uh, so yeah, maybe people... I don't know why I... I I appear so serious and, you know, but I'm not, I'm actually, I'm not, I mean, you know me and you work with me, so I'm a, yeah, yeah. I'm a yeah. stupid girl, you know? Yes, yes. <laughs> But sometimes maybe is our, uh, I mean, our face, the our color look. of our eyes or, or everything. Because uh, me too is like always, uh, oh, what a sweet girl. And sometimes but I'm it's also, I, I think I it's also know. a combination of things, you know. Uh, I don't know. Take me, for example. I am a really positive, sunny person. But at the same time, I have rage and, and I'm aggressive. And I, and I have a mix of all these things together. And sometimes it's difficult to find a character that has so many shades, shades inside. Yes. So uh, sometimes, you know, they, they see you as something and then you're fixed in that role for the rest of your life. I'm not saying that that happened to us, of course yeah. not, <laughs> for now. But yeah, yeah, that's the risk. In the meantime, everybody's uh, love, Lucrezia, Lucrezia, love. And Ciao. yes, it's the eyes. <laughs> Okay, and uh, there's uh, an actress or some actresses that you think, uh, oh my God, she is my my goal, yes. or she is uh, wow. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, Federica Fracassi. <laughs> <laughs> but also, <laughs> but also Fracassi Federica, no. <laughs> but also <laughs> Elizabeth Moss. Yeah, uh, if you you guys know her, she she plays the um, the lead in Handmaid's Tale. We are both a fans TV of show that... Moss. My God, the great Elizabeth Moss. Thank Ciao, you. Elizabeth. I love her. <laughs> Ciao, <laughs> Elizabeth Moss, and then um, well, of course, we have all these great actresses from the past, Anna Magnani, and and so many others. But um, but yeah, if I have to say today. I would like to be her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Elizabeth Moss. Okay, perfect. Also, perfect. Kate Winslet, it's fine. I mean, yeah, we can. She's uh, not bad. No. Yes, we can invite uh, also Kate uh, to our yeah, party. <laughs> coffee. Yes. And uh, well, ah, yes, that's the, the question. That is social network because uh, yes. you know that uh, Lucrezia is uh, also a great uh, social. I don't know. She's uh, you are really good in using all this stuff. And I mean, in this period, in this time, there's a lot of uh, also quarrels and discussions about uh, uh, live <laughs> performances that uh, are not possible in this uh, time anymore. Uh, we are going back uh, on the stage or not. Uh, social uh, are going to uh, to be much more important than the live stuff. You think that this time can help us in finding mm -hmm. also something positive new way of communication or that it always uh, uh, goes uh, everything in a, i mean too fast too fast and so yeah uh, i don't know it's a, it's an interesting question i think because of course for us i mean the, the situation is a, it's a tragedy for all of us and no matter what you do in your life, this is like a, <laughs> a tragedy. But maybe for us, I mean, we, we work in theater as well, but also on set. I mean, I think we're going to be one of the last people going back to work, going back to normality yeah. as we know it for now. And uh, so, yeah, it scares me a little bit. And I think that social media are just you know, like a bridge, like something that can, con can connect you to, to, in order to share your pain with other people and make it lighter and yeah. try to, you know, to stay colored, you know, colorful. Yeah. And 
because of, of course we need it we cannot think of being for i don't know another month just with our family or you know our roommate or whoever so it's something that has helps me to i don't know i see it as a, as a distraction as a way to communicate something right yeah. now um but i don't think it can something it can be a substitute of what we do yeah I because agree. what we I do agree. i think that what we do is mainly um something that we share with other people that's the ingredient that makes it alive and makes it so unique and memorable so uh i don't think that i can be an actress on instagram you know yeah. um and i thought many times i i thought may maybe i can read something on or act you know some you know scenes or monologues and share it but the truth is i felt i i even tried but i felt lonely <laughs> yeah yeah yes and so i didn't feel like it but um i don't have um i don't like to judge people so you know we all yes i think this... that everybody is free yes of yeah. course in this so way, it's really we free. are free to to experience our pain and our you know loneliness yeah how well yeah. we won and and yes. many times you know i posted some stupid video when i fuck around you know yeah. and and i got some weird messages like people saying how can you post this now we're living this tragedy how how can you do this aren't you ashamed of yourself and i said no no why <laughs> why no no of course Be not I have moments when when I cry and and I'm alone in my room and I and I just I would like to scream but you know I I don't think it's nice no, I to think, share I that, that on Instagram yes, that but freedom is really important now freedom yes. in the sense of consciousness of what is happening but uh, we we our work and uh, our soul is uh, with the people with our audience and uh, we try to do what what we can in different of ways course, of course of course and also we have a responsibility sometimes of you know being if you decide to be on social media maybe you can also decide to share some positivity and some yeah. you know some something that can i don't know the idea of making someone you know lighter for a second yeah, with yeah. my my being funny and stupid i don't know it makes me happy so yes. I, i don't see why yes. i should be ashamed of that and no, no, it's true i long for the, the a big ensemble now yes. <laughs> when, I, when i think on the stage i would like to be with you and other people of 11 20 <laughs> yeah and uh, so my last question is on th on theater i mean uh, of course uh, i interviewed uh, actresses but sometimes they were much more uh, uh, working on, on theater and you do you do both uh, so you have a preference uh, you it's they are very different ways but i mean maybe yes i um my my <laughs> dream my my goal uh my career goal is to have the possibility of doing both theater and movies and you know tv whatever uh sometimes it's difficult because of the time you have you know because you, sometimes if you commit to to a play maybe you have to give them i don't know eight months of your life and that of course i cannot do anymore because i want to kind of you know uh try try to do both so i have yeah. to make some 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 choices but choices, uh, yes. i don't have a preference i just like to tell a story and you know achieve some someone else's point of view and have an, a new look a new um a new way of thinking every time so it doesn't matter if i do it in a on set or in a theater to me it's the same it's just okay something funny that i <laughs> that i find out is that when i'm doing a play in theater i wish i was doing a movie yeah and when i'm doing a movie i wish i was yeah. doing a play yes <laughs> i don't know why It's the But same I, when ah. you are engaged you want to be alone when you are alone you yeah. want to be engaged <laughs> There's someone from New Zealand uh, who wow, says uh, oh, bye bye I go to bed but <laughs> it was great <laughs> <laughs> That's great all over the world. Uh, wow, we have to do that uh, another time. 
So yeah. now uh, we have your gift. Yeah, my gift. Yeah. So about my gift, which is a uh, yeah, a book, yeah. I decided to. Oh Jesus! I I lost the page. Okay, you'll give me a few seconds. And okay, okay. I decided to read uh, a little piece of uh, La Minuta by Donatella Di Pietrantonio, which is an Italian... A beautiful book, yes. Writer, yes. And um, I brought this in theater. And for the first time, I was a director. And She also was a an director, actress. director. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... Um, Talking about being brave, this was a really important experience for me because I got the possibility of testing my, I don't know, my everything, my like, okay, let's, let's check, where am I? <laughs> And, you know, direct, directing gave me that, that new point of view about myself and the art in general and theater. So, yeah, so this is the, the, the play and now I'm going to find the... Um, Okay, the, the page, of the page. In, the meantime, in the meantime, I say that, of course, after this reading, then we say goodbye, that uh, uh, the reading is in Italian, but today some, someone is, always, is also saying that, my, uh, uh, oh, great, Federica in English, <laughs> thank you, because really, my English, oh! no, uh, anyway, fine. anyway, we listen to this Italian reading. And then we yeah, it's an Italian back. reading and also it's from Abruzzo, which is the region that I am from. So also for the Italians, we have a new Can be weird. aspect yeah. Yeah. of okay. our language. Okay. <laughs> okay, vado. Yeah. Um, il giorno dopo, aiutavo a piegare le lenzuola già asciugate. Attenda le scatapuzze ha detto la madre scacciandone una bella verde. Non so perché gli piace mettersi in mezzo ai panni stesi. Poi è passata con naturalezza dalle cimici ai figli. Sto secondo ma scede proprio storto. Quell'altro ogni tanto se ne scappa, ma non è troppo birbone. Non mi vogliono in questa casa. Per quello mi tormentano. Perché non mi rimandate dove stavo? Piano piano si abito pure Sergio. Tu però cerca di non gridare quando dormi, che gli sposti il nervoso. Si è fermata un attimo, con la pila della biancheria tra le mani. Mi ha guardata negli occhi una delle rare volte, come, come seguendo un pensiero. Che te lo ricordi? Quando ci siamo ingondrata allo sposalizio. Potevi tenere sei, settanta. Mi ha riaperto la memoria con una frustata. Ricordo qualcosa, solo, solo che qui sei diversa, con i vestiti di tutti i giorni. Quella volta eri elegante, ho ammesso. Non sai a quante occasioni me lo so sfruttato quel completo. A un certo punto mi ero un po' ingrassata e teneva paura che mi saltevano le cuciture. Ha sorriso. Era una domenica di giugno. Gli sposi avevano perso tempo con tutte quelle fotografie. Alle tre stavamo ancora a cercare posti al ristorante. Mi giro di botto e ti vedo. Non ti potevo riconoscere per quanto eri fatta grande, bella. Chi te l'ha detto che ero io? Prima di tutto me la so sentita. E poi ci stava dal Gisa, no? Chiacchierava con una parente e non si accorta subito di me. Io ti sono chiamata, mi ha alzata la coccia. Sei rimasta a bocca aperta. Forse perché mi scappavano le lacrime. Oggi chiederei ogni minimo dettaglio di quell'incontro. Ma allora ero troppo confusa. E lei ha continuato da sola. I panni li aveva appoggiati su una sedia. Appena mi ha vista dal Gisa si è misa a mezzo, tramette, ma tutta affaccia vita dietro a esse con quella coccetta curiosa. Mi guardavi. Guardavo di traverso la sua fronte un ciuffo bianco prima del tempo, come un segno di riconoscimento tutto suo. 
Quando le sono stata restituita, cominciava già a mimetizzarsi tra i capelli di un grigio precoce e si sarebbe poi perso nel bianco totale. Quel giorno, al matrimonio, non sapevo ancora niente. I miei padri erano cugini alla lontana, portavo il loro cognome. Nel mese dello svezzamento le due famiglie si erano spartite la mia vita a parole, senza accordi precisi, senza, senza chiedersi quanto avrei pagato la loro vaghezza. Non potevo parlare troppo, che eri piccola. Però gliele so candata a tua zia. Aveva giurato che venivate sempre qua da noi, che te crescevamo insieme, invece t'abbiamo riviste solo alla festa tua di un anno, siamo scesi noi alla città. Le è mancata la voce per alcuni istanti. Dopo avete cambiato indirizzi, nessuno ci ha avvertito. Ero attenta, tesa al suo racconto, ma non volevo fidarmi di lei. L'aveva detto anche Adriana, proprio il giorno del mio arrivo lì, che non c'era tanto da crederle. E sappiate la scusa che teneva la cognata malata, non poteva, non poteva lasciare. Ma proprio mentre la nominava, Lidia è venuta a salutare, tutta bella, in salute. Lidia soffriva d'asma, a volte dovevano portarla al pronto soccorso, il replicato secca. Mi ha guardata e non ha aggiunto altro. Ha capito da sola da quale parte stavo. Si è ripresa la pila dei panni dalla sedia e li ha portati nella sua camera. Sono scappata fuori e il buio mi ha gelata. Dall'angolo più nascosto del piazzale vedevo le finestre illuminarsi e dietro l'andirivieni delle sagome femminili affaccendate. Erano le mamme normali, quelle che avevano partorito i figli e li avevano tenuti con sé. Nel tempo ho perso anche quell'idea confusa di normalità e oggi, oggi davvero ignoro che il luogo sia una madre. Mi manca. Come può mancare la salute, un riparo, una certezza. È un vuoto persistente che conosco, ma non supero. Gira la testa a guardarci dentro. Un paesaggio desolato che di notte toglie il sonno e fabbrica incubi nel poco che lascia. La sola madre che non ho mai perduto è quella delle mie paure. Grazie, stupenda, Grazie a voi. stupenda, qua i cuori praticamente non ti vedo più perché sei sommersa ah! dai cuori, uh, yes, I don't you... understand but I love but it, I love it. <laughs> uh, but um, they ask that uh, we, this uh, duo is going to come back <laughs> in the future, <laughs> I you, hope so, I hope so. You were so great, so generous, so you, you are my aristocratic gypsy. <laughs> <laughs> my best aristocratic gypsy. I love you so much. Uh, grazie, and I wait grazie for you voi. next week on Check the Gate. And uh, grazie, Lucrezia, davvero. Grazie a voi, ragazzi. Many kisses to everybody. Bye-bye. Stay strong, guys. Bye. Stay strong. Bye-bye.